letter to the Upper Canada School Board from Robert J. Harper, Executive Director of the Canadian Flag Education Centre, in September 2019. Request for consideration for the naming of the new public school in Brockville. It is with great pride and enthusiasm for the future of our young students that we request your committee to consider naming the new school being built in Brockville, John Ross Matheson Public School. The important role of former parliamentarian, the Honourable John Ross Matheson, from 1961 to 1968, shedding light on some significant accomplishments. The work of Canada's parliamentarians is often overshadowed by politics and the bureaucracy of government. The reality is Canada's entire essence as a nation is solely dependent upon the dedication of caring, intelligent, and hardworking individuals who believe in our Canadian values and are prepared to provide their input into the daily exasperations of making our country a better place to live for and every Canadian citizen. Recognizing the involvement of John Ross Matheson, Member of Parliament for the Liberal Party of Canada for Leeds, now Leeds and Grenville County, with the National Flag of Canada, the Order of Canada, and the Royal Heraldry Society of Canada, 1961 through 1968, while living in Brockville, Ontario, through his memoirs and the Government of Canada archives is critical. Upon the completion of my research into the details of who and how our Canadian Maple Leaf flag was brought to fruition in 1964-65, it has come to my attention that along with all the loving hands Mr. Matheson wanted to have recognized for their work, which spanned nearly a hundred years to bring a national flag of Canada into being, there's a lack of understanding just how important the work of the Honourable John Ross Matheson was in the history of Canada's Parliament. I do not wish to try and capture each and every accomplishment of this truly great Canadian, but I would like to bring attention to just a few accomplishments which have until now been understood stated, and even unknown to the general Canadian public. John Ross Matheson graduated from Queen's University in 1940. He had also attended and graduated from the Royal Military College. At the Battle of Ortona, Italy, in 1943, he was critically wounded and was rendered a quadrupedic with six pieces of shrapnel lodged in his brain. He arrived back in Canada and rehabilitated to where he could use his arms and walk with the aid of supports. He continued his education and graduated from Osgoode Hall to become a lawyer. After being called to the bar, Mr. Matheson moved to Brockville, Ontario in Leeds County and opened his law practice in 1948 with the goal of helping veterans and their families. His personal hobby was the study of heraldry, and he became very close friends with George M. Beely, who was also a heraldry enthusiast. In 1961, Mr. Matheson successfully ran as a Liberal Party candidate in a federal by-election and became the Member of Parliament on May 29, 1961. In July of 1961, Mr. Matheson went to Parliament Hill in Ottawa to set up his new office as a Member of Parliament. He was met by the Liberal Party leader, Lester B. Pearson, on that first day in Parliament Hill. Mr. Pearson congratulated Mr. Matheson on his election and proceeded to tell Mr. Matheson about his dream to have a national flag of Canada when the Liberal Party of Canada formed a government in the future. It was at this meeting Mr. Pearson asked Mr. Matheson to begin working on the research on what it would take to bring a national flag of Canada to fruition. Mr. Pearson was aware of Mr. Matheson's passion for heraldry, the study of flags, colours, insignias and honours, and the stage was set. The work to bring a national flag of Canada became time-sensitive in 1963 when the Liberal Party of Canada was elected as the Government of Canada and Prime Minister Lester B. Pearson announced Canada would have its very own flag within two years, thus accelerating the work of Mr. Matheson's research. This work took many twists and turns leading up to the Canadian Maple Leaf flag becoming the national flag of Canada being flown for the first time on February 15, 1965 with Prime Minister Lester B. Pearson acknowledging John Ross Matheson as the person most responsible. Mr. Matheson never took credit for his work, but rather talked about the many loving hands who had worked for nearly 100 years to bring a truly unifying symbol of Canada into being. Mr. Matheson continued his work as our Member of Parliament and was re-elected in 1965. In 1966, Mr. Pearson added Mr. Matheson to begin work to initiate an honourable system for Canada to recognize the dedication and accomplishments of truly outstanding Canadians, to recognize 
the dedication and accomplishments of truly outstanding Canadians. Leading up to the 100th anniversary of Confederation, his work was completed when Mr. Matheson requested Bruce Beatty, a Government of Canada artist, to help with the design. A final design of the Order of Canada snowflake is now one of Canada's most recognized symbols and was initiated on July 1, 1967. During the 1950s and 60s, Mr. Matheson worked with Phillips Till and his friend George M. Beely to lay the groundwork to establish for the founding of the Heraldry Society of Canada. The three heraldry enthusiasts joined together with Alan Badeau from Ottawa and successfully formed the Heraldry Society of Canada in 1966. The dedication of these flower pioneers was the beginning to what is now known as the Royal Heraldry Society of Canada, which extended to the formation of the Heraldry Authority of Canada as proclaimed by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The Canadian Maple Leaf Flag, the Order of Canada, and the Heraldry Society of Canada were all brought to fruition in the very short period of time from 1961 through 1967, and Mr. Matheson's part in all these endeavours was underscored with his insistence of providing credit to the many loving hands who had worked to bring these iconic symbols and institutions to fruition. In 1967, Mr. Matheson was named Brockville Citizen of the Year. Mr. Matheson and Mr. Bailey had worked to create and design the Brockville coat of arms and the Brockville flag the year prior to Canada's centennial celebrations. Following Mr. Matheson's time as an MP, he was appointed as a judge and continued in his philanthropic ways by creating more than six John Ross Matheson Awards of Excellence for high school students in Leeds and Grenville. Mr. Matheson also transferred ownership of Higgins Island, now Victoria Island, to Parks Canada. The former Parliamentary Asian Association of Canada bestowed its inaugural Distinguished Service Award on June 10, 1999 upon Mr. Matheson, and we are hopeful this association will find a way to educate all Canadians so they can get a sense of what a caring and dedicated Canadian can accomplish in the role of a parliamentarian. There are literally hundreds more accomplishments of the Honourable John Ross Matheson in his 96 years on this earth, but the items listed here set the measure for all elected members of Parliament to bring prosperity and honour to Canada, the best country in the world. The above listed symbols and institutions are overseen and in the stewardship of the Governor-General of Canada and the Department of Canadian Heritage. They represent the honour and integrity of all Canadians, the international recognition of our National Flag of Canada, the Order of Canada and the Royal Heraldry Society of Canada are held in the highest regard around the entire world, and one name can be linked to all three, and this is former parliamentarian, the Honourable John Ross Matheson. Although Mr. Matheson's sincere belief was in awarding others with credit and accolades, it is critical that the information be made available to all Canadians as the factual account of the effort involved. Mr. Matheson felt it was important to admit one's failings, but in his effort to remain humble, he was concerned about bringing awareness to the individuals who truly deserved recognition. Mr. Matheson's memoirs contain many interesting facts relating to the work to bring the Order of Canada to fruition, the details of each contributor, and the methods used to complete the research. These memoirs are in my possession and have only been shared with a very select few. I would be honoured to share this personal account of Mr. Matheson's writings with interested parties to ensure Canadians have the true factual details relating to our most res recognized symbols and institutions. Respectfully, Robert J. Bob Harper, Executive Director, Canadian Flag Education Centre.